Hello, in this episode I would like to present a French Mitel 5, Mitel 5, which is a kind of um, replacement for paper um, phone books in the 80s. The French post office figured out that they spent so much so many francs or money each year on printing phone books and it was more economical survivable to actually give these devices to people and then have the phone book service um, online not really online was on the internet over these Minitel devices there are several Minitel devices this is one of the newest ones it's actually a portable one as LCD monitor the, the, the original ones don't have LCD they have um, yeah a real CRT tube inside okay um, there is no yeah, service for yeah, phone book service anymore, of course, but these Minitel devices still can be used as terminals on Linux machines because they have a modem inside, a 1200-bit uh, per second modem, and um, we can use that to, to log into a server. Okay, so let's switch it on. Let's switch this on. Uh, it comes on and then we switch it into terminal mode and then this one is sufficiently small because it's a fundamental five it can it can dial itself its own number the original minitels had a modem but you had to dial the number on the phone that was next to the, the, the modem but this one has a dialer inside so we can dial the number and you hear the out pulsing. There wasn't too much DTMF used in Europe. And then we can do connection. And it's gonna connect after some time to that modem. And here we are connected. And now I can log in to that uh, service. Oh, I got the, the password wrong. I'm not using that server too much and too often, so. And of course, I'm not gonna give you the password. Okay, and here we are. Now logged on. And we can do whatever you can do on a, um, on a Linux system, LS, for example, and display the different files. And of course, that's all painfully slow. Let's see how, how slow that is. It's 1200 baud per second, actually. It's not even bits per second, it's baud per second. And it's a 7 bit ASCII, um, so it can't display any kind of special symbols. We can start screen, for example, and we're going to see screen. Again, one whole page takes quite some time but it goes over a usual line and then uh, well, it is what it is yes and we can even try to go on the internet with that oops so now I need to figure out how to I do backspace on that thing Okay, and now we're going to open up, uh, we're trying at least to open up something on the internet with that Minitel. doesn't seem to work too well, I didn't try that out. Of course it's all text based, nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna do Control D to disconnect. I'm gonna Control D again. And when I do all my control D's and I'm back, at some point I'm gonna get disconnected or should get disconnected. And here I got disconnected and here it's really disconnecting means switching a relay off. Um, that's what control D still does on a Linux system, but yeah, 
D for disconnect, but usually it's just a disconnect of a SSH session here. A disconnect is really switching off relays, right? Okay, you see it's a French keyboard, so it's not a QWERTY keyboard, it's an SRT keyboard. And um, yes, um, that's it. Okay, great. It could actually be used even for direct communications of these two of two of these devices. You can return one of them, so switch them into receiving mode, and then you can actually just type on each other's screens. Um, I don't know if ever someone used that for that. Okay, good, great, thank you.